Hello everybody, welcome back, Siri Tech here. So I want to start by apologizing for the delay in my uploads. Um, I have had this nasty, nasty chest cold that I have not been able to get over. So I haven't really been up to flying or recording or much of anything lately, but um, I did get, as you can see here, a 3D printer. And I've been very, very excited about it. And in fact, I think this is the longest it's been off. <laughs> I've been, uh, I've been printing and printing and printing and printing. But uh, the reason why I made this video is because I want to tell everybody really why you should have a 3D printer. Um, and my main reasoning behind getting one. So uh, being in the FPV hobby and building micro quads and tiny whoops and everything, um, I crash a lot. So I mean, I break stuff fairly often. Um, Thank goodness for Beta FPV and their frames because between the 70, Beta 75 and the 65 frame, that's about the only thing I'm not breaking. Um, camera mounts were something that I was constantly having issues with, so I decided I was going to keep a long, uh, good eye out on Cyber Monday and see if I couldn't catch a deal, and man, I lucked out. So this is the Model Price Select Mini version 2. Uh, this thing is fantastic. I mean, out of the box, it took me about 15 minutes to start printing, if that. Um, it's already assembled. Uh, it came with a short length of PLA and an SD card, which was awesome. The SD card included uh, slicers. So you had, uh, I've been using Cura. I haven't had any issues so far with it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it prints really, really well. I've printed PLA, ABS, and TPU, all with no issues. Um, except for a little bit of sh uh, shrinking with ABS. So here's, I'll show you some uh, examples. So here is two battery trays that I printed. So you can see the one on the bottom kind of shrunk up a little bit. Now these are still fine, they're functional. Um, they're really light and the whole battery is great and you can just hot glue them on. Um, these are some things that I've printed. Uh, you'll, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I've been printing a bunch of these VM275T uh, camera mounts, and I'm giving a bunch of these away. These are all done in TPU. Um, I've also got somewhere, got some more camera mounts that I've printed. I'm not sure where I put them, but I've been printing like crazy. Um, got a boss frame right here in black. I've got a boss frame in blue with the battery tray already glued on, and a VM275T camera mount, so I'll be putting this together pretty soon. Um, I printed this really cool little uh, wireframe skull that turned out great, and I only paid $150 for this printer. I mean, granted, I got it on Cyber Monday, so I got a great deal. Even at the original price of $220, I still feel like this is well, well worth it. Um, let me get the specs out for you real quick. Um, this has a 0.4 nozzle, um, it, so that prints uh, 1.75 millimeter uh, filament. Um, it does 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. That's its print bed, so you can print some pretty decent sized items. Um, and if if you're following the path that I am and you're printing a lot of stuff for your quads, um, I feel like 120 by 120 by 120 is more than enough space. But um, yeah, I mean, this thing has just been so much fun to play with. Um, and then, like I said, it's worked, it's worked really well. I've only had a couple failed prints, um, and I think that that was largely due to uh, temperature changes in the room while I was printing. Um, I found that ABS can be can be kind of tricky. You got to be careful. Um, if it cools down too rapidly, you will see that shrinkage, and um, it's it's something that may happen. But man, I just I'm really excited about this printer. I'm gonna have links in the description to this. If you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to leave me a comment. Um, I'm actually gonna start printing quite a bit of things. Uh, I want to start doing monthly giveaways where I'm gonna be printing items and. Uh, giving them out to my subscribers and also um, excuse me I would I would like to be able to 
provide printing services for my subscribers. So if you're looking for something that you would like printed and you don't have a printer and it falls under the 120 by 120 by 120 specs, I'll be more than happy to print it. The only thing I ask of you is if you want to cover the shipping, that would be great. Um, as I've grown my channel, I've been really enjoying being able to do more giveaways. Um, unfortunately, those giveaways come, um, I have to buy all this stuff myself, so it comes out of my pocket. So uh, in order for me to continue to do this, I set up a Patreon, and I'll have a link in the description to my Patreon. And um, I would really, really appreciate it if you would uh, shoot me a donation. Even a dollar would help. Um, that's going to help me be able to get more filament for my printer and be able to print more stuff for the community. That's also going to allow me to pick up more cool things so I can do more giveaways. Um, and in fact, I'm going to be uh, announcing a couple giveaways here, hopefully this month. I would like to give away a bunch of stuff throughout December so everybody can have a very happy Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry, this cold is just awful. But um, yeah, like I said, if you are flying micros and you're really into the hobby, I could not recommend this printer anymore. I mean, it is just fantastic. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm going to have some more videos on this. I'm going to do a setup video. Um, I'm going to show some examples of the different filaments that I printed and what I've done to be successful in those prints. And um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll have a whole playlist built up for it. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be all for me today. I hope everybody has a good one. And as always, fly safe and fly often.